Hey, yo, man, my family, man, what's good? What's good, man? The Matrix tried to attack your boy today, this morning and last night, for real. I'm not gonna lie, but you know, we see it through. We stick to the plan, we keep moving. You know what I'm saying? When we in the fire, we don't stop, man. We keep moving, man. That's I wanna be a good example of that for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Cause shit gonna happen, man. Like I said, it's never gonna be a perfect plan, but you just stay prepared and understand that whatever happens, you can adapt, man. You can adapt. But yeah, man. So I just wanted to talk to y'all today about men messing with other men's women, man. And I'll tell y'all a couple of little stories. Like back in the day when I was a young wild boy, I definitely used to do that. I used to do that to other guys. Um, I actually told a specific story on the um, podcast um, that's coming out tomorrow. I don't got to talk podcast, by the way. I told a um, specific story about me being at a talent show at high school. And it was a girl that I kind of already used to mess around with. And she came to the talent show with her boyfriend. And I was leaving early. So I told her to walk me to the car. And I ended up having sex with her in the car. Like I, I texted her while she was right beside her boyfriend telling her, like, walk me outside to the car. We end up having sex in the car. And she goes back into the talent show and finishes it with her boyfriend and stuff like that. And I had a bunch of other situations like that, just me messing with other guys, girls, for me not having um, just a lack of respect for other people and things like that in relationships. Definitely had a lack of respect for relationships because I had a lack of respect for my own relationships at the time. And I say all that to say, like, when you're young and you're going to do dumb stuff like that, but as an adult, as a man, I think that's completely idiotic to mess with another man's woman in a relationship, married married especially. Like, we see it all, all the time, guys getting into altercations or even getting killed over, you know, messing with another man's wife. And I'm not saying that's something right to kill over, but... I mean, if you die doing that, is anybody really going to... Like, I mean, yeah, your family going to feel bad, but can anybody else outside of that really have too much sympathy for you? I know I wouldn't have too much sympathy for a guy that he got caught fucking another dude, girl. Like, yeah, a lot of people might call the guy that killed him a simp, but at the end of the day, like, you disrespected that man to the highest level. I ain't saying you deserve it, but you, you very close to deserving it. You feel me? And... That's something as I grew up, I understood. It's like, as you get older, you want to survive longer, you know? Just coming where I'm coming from, it was a big um, deal just making it past uh, 21, making it 18 and stuff like that. So when I go, when I got, once I got um, past those ages, I took life in being able to live more seriously. Like I started seeing a lot of friends die over different situations, altercations with men, people robbing each other, and all types of stuff. Um, and you see life as much, much more precious, man. You definitely see it as much more precious. So I say all that to say, like, if you're a dude and you think it's cool to, like, mess with other, um, even even if you are a young dude, because you, you don't want to be putting yourself in those type of situations. And to me, it's like... It's not treacherous behavior unless unless it's your man's. Like if you doing that to your man's, then yeah, that's treacherous. But it's still um, just not superior men activities. And over here on this channel, I want y'all to behave in like superior men. And I feel like that's something you don't have to do if you are a superior man, because you have a plethora of women that are good women that wouldn't cheat on you and stuff like that that you can get rather than trying to mess with some dude's wife riding off the high of it like or just like maybe you get a thrill from it or whatever or the dude is in a position that you would want to be in so you trying to get a little taste of that and shit like that like I don't know people do it for different reasons and stuff and sometimes the women are initiating it but that's where you as a man you gotta be in control of your lust dog gotta be in control of it I don't care who wife throwing themselves at you 
it's not worth it because at the end of the day, you're not going to want to cuff her because if you do, I mean, the same way you got her, same way you're going to lose her, man. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you all that spill because I did tell that story. Um, and, you know, we laughed about it and stuff like that because it was, it was funny. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I was just a young dude and, yeah, like, I thought, you know what I'm saying? I thought I was a man doing shit like that. Like, oh, yeah, I got this girl outside. He don't even know and shit like that. But that shit wasn't cool. It wasn't cool. Definitely nothing I regret, but it's behavior that I've learned from and stuff I wouldn't do moving forward. Uh, it's, it's just no purpose of it, man. It's definitely no purpose of it. But yeah, man, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Enjoy y'all Friday. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy y'all evening. Don't get too lit. Make sure you're doing your push-ups. Make sure you're working on yourself. And make sure you take care of your people, man. Take care of your family and work hard so you can so you can do that, you know? For sure, for sure. As always, I love y'all. I'm out.